Here. Alderman Shockey. Here. Alderman Eugene Wesley. Here. Alderman Roy Wesley. Here. Alderman Winger. Here. Mayor Johnson. Here. Quorum being present, would you stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May I have a motion to approve the minutes, March 17th, 2011. So move. Is there a second? second? Comments, corrections, additions? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Motion carries. Do any citizens wish to address the city council? If so, if you go to the podium and give us your name and address. Ms. Cameras. You. I'm Marsha Cameras. I'm president of the Wooddale Seniors. Do you want to know why I'm here? Please. Okay. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get the city council to approve a free lunch, a free yearly lunch for the seniors. Some of our seniors, it's the only time for them to get out during the month or one of the few times. And it seems that when we have a free lunch for them, we get more members to come out. Uh, we also have an open door policy, and we have had many members from the council come and talk. Uh, Dan Shockey and Sam Lewiton are members of the club, and uh, now that the mayor's retiring, unfortunately, um, we're hoping to make him a member of the group. They have, they bring, uh, to the seniors, many things you know, that are going. You know, I'm just a young kid, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Well, we just lowered the age to 35, so that okay. that includes you. I just make it. I just make it. <laughs> uh, but we have had uh, several people uh, come to talk about what's going on in the community and things that are up before the city council. And we'd like to keep that o open door policy. Uh, Roy Wesley comes in and donates free tickets, uh, two free tickets to Jewelry Lane three or four times a year. Um, the mayor has gotten us several speakers and some free lunches. Uh, Dan always lets us know what's going on before the city council. We've had Art Wood come and speak, and Peter Jacobson, and Peter Jacobson, Sam Lewiton, and we'd like to keep that up. And that is, one does not hinge on the other. Okay? Oh, and the, the amount should not, and this is a guesstimate, should not uh, exceed $1,500. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Council for your information, this is something the police department does on a yearly basis for the seniors already, so this would be a second additional luncheon uh, focusing more on city government. Alderman Winger, would you take that up at your next uh, finance committee? Yes. Okay, thank you. Does anyone else wish to? Alderman Wesley? We're going to put that in this year's budget, correct? Uh, I think we would have time to do that. You can discuss it in your committee Thursday, and the, the budget is approved third Thursday. We could do a budget. Is that correct? I believe so. Yes. Okay. Mr. Or Mr. Wilson. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, the budget is currently up, up for public inspection. It was noticed in the paper on the 1st of April. Uh, it's set to come back to the full council for final ratification on the 21st. So if we take it up at the next meeting. So the answer is yes, we can amend it at this point. Uh, yeah, correct. All right. Thank you. Alderman Shockey, did, I know you've been arguing for this in years past or months past. Did you have any comments you wanted to make? Only that it's a great pe uh, group of people that have been living in this town for a long time and like to keep them as friends, all of them. Thank you. Anyone else wish to address the city council this evening? Uh, hearing none, that brings us, I do not have any written communiques, that brings us to Mayor's report. I want to remind everybody of uh, Boy Scout Troop 65 annual pancake breakfast, <coughs> Sunday, April 10th from 8 to 1 p.m. at Holy Ghost Church. 
Uh, adults admission seven dollars, seniors and children six dollars. Uh, children under four are free. Again, that's this Sunday from 8 to 1 p.m. at Holy Ghost. Also under Mayor's report today, I attended the Governor's Task Force on the uh, Elgin O'Hare Expressway. Uh, they are getting serious about this value added tax. That's something we're gonna have to watch very carefully. Uh, it's $150 million that they are seeking to raise on the municipalities uh, who immediately uh, adjoin the uh, Elgin O'Hare Expressway. It would be everybody that has property within one and a half miles of the expressway, excluding today I learned residents. Residents would be uh, not included. But all business owners within uh, one and a half miles uh, would get this value added tax. So it's something we gotta watch very carefully. Uh, I and the other mayors argued for uh, federal funding in the next transportation bill and or for the tollway to pay for the whole project. Uh, currently the project is $2.2 .2 billion and the tollway is currently in for $1.5 billion, but they do have the ability to make up the difference. So hopefully they will see the light. That concludes my report, Mr. Manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have two items. Uh, first item, uh, for those residents who have uh, yard waste, the first pickup was uh, started this Monday, April 4th, and will continue for the rest of the season. Second item, uh, we have the DuPage Mayors and Managers Springfield drive down uh, next Wednesday. I will be attending as well as a couple elected officials. It's a good opportunity for staff and elected officials to talk to our legislators to help our residents in uh, any way we can. So if there's any other elected officials that are interested in going to the drive down, uh, please contact me as soon as possible so we can make those arrangements. That concludes my report. And the drive down's on April 13th. Uh, that brings us to the consent agenda. Any objections to any items on the consent agenda? Hearing not, may I have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Moved and seconded. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Now may I have a motion to approve the items on the agenda, being approval of a letter of credit reduction for Arbor Woods, approval of contract award for North Wastewater Treatment Plant. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. second. Roll call. Alderman Chalky? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Cadalla? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Police? Yes. Those items are approved. That brings us to committee reports, planning, zoning, and building. Alderman Cadella? No report. Public Health, Safety, and Judiciary. Alderman Shockey? No report. Public Works. Alderman Wesley? Mayor, I have a few tonight. Um, uh, award of a uh, contract for Deer Path Reconstruction to... Um, Swallow Construction Corporation, not amount of million, one million fourteen thousand dollars. That is a motion. That's your motion. Is there a second? A second. On the question. Roll call. Alderman Shockey. Yes. Alderman R. Wesley. Yes. Alderman Cadella. Yes. Alderman Winger. Yes. Alderman Coles. Yes. Alderman E. Wesley. Yes. Alderman Police. Yes. That passes. The other item, item number two, is report recommendation and contract award Deer Path Material Testing CGMT Incorporation not to exceed $18,900. Is that your motion? That is my motion. Is there a second? second? On the question? Roll call. Alderman Chalky? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Police? Yes. That passes. Uh, the other item that was asked to be brought back to the council is right to council is report and recommendation Urban Park Road ornamenti lighting bridge up upgrades. Um, we do have someone here from Strand um, that, that we did ask him to attend. Uh, any questions on this? Uh, I believe there has been. Um, I mean, he has asked him come. There was discussions about just buying the lights outright and store them. Um, oh, I, and I, I need your name. I don't I'm know. sorry. Uh, my name is Mike Waldron with Strand Associates. Okay. So there was conversation during the budget process to buy the lights outright and then move forward with this project <clears throat> due to the fact that there was a grant out there. Um, as you know, in your packet, you received a... a outline of the cost of this project 
also this project did not come down as much as we thought it was going to come down, but Strand will explain why the cost is so high and, and what options the council choose to go with. Uh, I believe there was another option we'll look at down the line uh, about this grant money that we could use it for something else if we choose not to do these lights. I don't know how big these lights are, how much these lights are called cost separate. So I'll turn over to uh, Shannon Engineer to sure. explain. Thank you. Um, in the cost of the project, there are two main components, one being the lighting, second one being the railing. The lighting that we were asked to take a look at is similar to the lighting that you have right now on the pedestrian bridge that goes over Irving Park Road. Um, <clears throat> the quotes that we have gotten from that ranged from $1,300 to $1,500 a piece for the lights. Um, in addition to that, there's electrical controllers, conduit work. Uh, we had estimated the total work at $70,000. Uh, the project had proposed 10 lights, so purchasing them outright would range you from fifteen dollars to $18,000 for just the lights themselves. Um, the range is the 18,000 is closer to what you actually have on the bridge right now. 15,000 is a little bit closer to a what we what we might call a knockoff. It's a little lower grade light. Um, certainly, that's not the biggest item. The one that really surprised us was the railing. The cost of the railing. Um, we started by looking at the railing that's on the pedestrian bridge as the sample. Spoke to the company that provide that provided that railing. Uh, that is Midwest Fence Company. And their price that they came back with was $325 a foot for that railing, which we found to be pretty outrageous. That is, that's material and labor for installation. How much? <clears throat> $325 a foot. Now, we checked around to see whether that cost was what they had been giving elsewhere. It seemed to be in line with that, but it was very surprising to us that it was that high. Um, we also then, from there, went to talk to... Uh, three, we tried to talk to uh, three companies who gave you quotes on railing at the metro station. Only two of them were responsive to us. Um, one was Elite Fence. Uh, they gave us a quote of $65 a foot, but they said they wouldn't do the job. Um, and uh, I think that had to do with manpower, and they've been hurt with the economy. I don't think they're much longer in the business. Uh, the other company is Ornamental Fence, and the quote that they gave us for their railing uh, ranged from $593 to $644 a foot. So they even went up higher. Um, they have a different coating system on the railing, but that certainly didn't get us going in a better direction. So um, to this point, we've been unable to get anybody from either of those companies to commit to just a material price. Um, we, could, we could guesstimate that it might be about a 50-50 split material to uh, to labor, which would put you at about $150, $160 a foot for the, for the railing, which would still put you somewhere in that $100,000 ballpark just for the, purchasing the railing. Okay. If we uh, delete the railing and just go with the lighting project, we can accomplish that for the $75,000 grant before yeah, we lose the money? I, I believe so, yes. Um, installed? <clears throat> installed, fully installed. Um, one of the things to keep in mind with the, with the lighting is that um, it is a heavier grade pole to be mounted on the bridge because the bridge is going to move. When trucks and cars go over it, it moves. We want, the rail, we want the poles to be very rigid so that the lights don't flop around. Um, another question was asked of us, do you need to put in 10? IDOT is the one that's going to dictate how many lights they're going to make us or allow us to put in. But once you start to light it, we then fall under their requirements on how many you know, foot candles, how much lighting you put on that sidewalk. So we, at this point, have estimated 10. It'd be nice if we could go with less, but that's what, we, that's what we've estimated at this point. That's what they've given concept approval for. Council, any comments, questions? Alderman West. Mr. Mayor, before, what will, I guess what I'm trying to say here, there, there's been another thing raised about another one of our bridge that is, it could be a concern, not a safety concern, but a concern of, about our other bridge. Um, and going to our engineer and I believe our city manager, that money could be used for that bridge. There was discussion of us to look at Elizabeth Park Bridge 
on what we could do with that. Uh, we did find, when they did go out there, we did find some, a, a little problem with that bridge. Um, we don't know the price tag. I don't think we know the price tag, what it would cost to do the repairs to that bridge that is in need of repair. So again, and, and the grant money could be used for that. We did confirm that, that it could be used for that. So my concern is about this project is, I'm not against doing the light project, but now I'm a little concerned about the, the bridge on Elizabeth Park, that there could be some, some problems with that bridge that needs to be repaired up for, you know, could be a safety issue down the line. But as of right now, it ain't a safety issue because the bridge was inspected, it passed inspection. But keep in mind, if we have to do a major repair on that bridge on Elizabeth, the city is going to be coughing up a lot of money to do the repair for that bridge. Now, this was, we were, our engineer was asked to go out there and look at that bridge, and he did. And his report, um, I believe it ain't out here yet, but we had a conversation if he wants to address, Mayor, could he address that? Absolutely. I do have one question. I do have Alderman Cadella uh, seeking recognition, too. First on, Mike, what's the date of the rescission on this grant? <coughs> Mr. Mermis? June 3rd, 2011. So we are under severe time constraints. Let me go to Alderman Cadella. That was one of my questions. Second, just a comment. This is why this council can never get anything done. We keep rethinking and rethinking. We've got till June 3rd to do this. We need to do this. Uh, we've had discussions on at length about this just because you can twist and contort uh, what you want to do with the grant money. That wasn't the original purpose of the grant money. It was for uh, something to do with pedestrian and, uh, and bridges, and that is not a pedestrian bridge on Elizabeth. Uh, next uh, question for the Strand Engineer. Did I hear you say something about a different light fixture, a knockoff, a less expensive fixture? Yeah, that came in at 1300 uh, per light. So Versus what for the better fixture? Uh, I'm sorry, 1500 per light versus 1800. Uh, All right, that seems, that seems so like a bad compromise. Uh, next thing, um, isn't some lighting better than no lighting? I'm having a hard time understanding why IDOT would say that three lights on each side wouldn't be sufficient when we have no lights on either side right now. Could you shed any light? no pun intended, right. on right. what that thought process is, what those criteria are, and, and why something's not better than nothing. Yeah, you get a little tricky. Once you, once you decide you want to light the sidewalk, then they jump in and say, well, you got to meet standards. It's two foot candles is the required lighting on the, on the sidewalk once you get going with it. So it's possible when we, they're going to make us evaluate it, model it, figure out how many lights that will take. It's possible we could reduce the number of lights one of the concerns is that we don't want the lights to get too high, otherwise they get more flimsy. Um, with a bridge that moves, we just don't want them shaking around, so they're, they're lower, which means the spread of the light is not as, as good as it would be if it were up higher. So there's a lot of things to go into that consideration. We feel 10 is, is a conservative number. Um, I don't believe they're going to ask for 12. Maybe they'll ask for 8, but once we start to light it on their roadway, they're going to kick in their requirements. I, I agree with the shorter lights anyway, even just for purely aesthetic reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm all for the lighting portion of this project. I'm not for trying to save whatever it is, $300 a light on a, on a less expensive fixture. Once again, Wooddale has kind of an older history of, of taking things halfway or doing it with a lesser material. So, you know, if, if we're going to do it, we're not saving that much money. If we've got most of the money with the $75,000 in grant, We've only got uh, a couple of months or actually less to get this thing done and paid for. Uh, it's my strong recommendation that we, uh, that we get this thing off the, off the ground tonight. Thank you. Mr. Steffen. I uh, just, <clears throat> just wanted to report, uh, we did take a look at the bridge. We went underneath the bridge and uh, to explain a little bit about the deterioration that we saw, underneath the bridge deck. And uh, the uh, bridge is, uh, was constructed with a corrugated steel plating underneath it. Sections of that are showing signs of uh, rusting uh, to extent where there's some areas that the concrete is exposed. 
and, um, and somewhat deteriorating. We have a structural engineer scheduled next week to come out and take a look at it. Um, we're trying to avoid destructive testing uh, where we don't have to um, uh, drill or tear anything apart. Um, but with respect to the, uh, uh, the inspection uh, and the initial inspection, there is some work that will need to be done on that bridge, probably in the short order. Let me see if I can get a motion on the floor. Is there a motion to approve ornamental lighting project on the Irving Park Bridge at a cost not to exceed 75000 I make that so, motion. Second. Further on the question, Alderman Wesley. Mayor, uh, you know what? I don't care whatever way the council goes with this project, but I also thought the discussion was that we were going to call down there and see if we can expansion extension on this money because I'll tell you one thing, by June 30th, Time Strand submits all their paperwork for those lights and get the IDOT approval. We know how quick IDOT moves. We might not even make that deadline. Okay, so was that question asked? Was that, did someone ask that question? Did someone call down there and see if there, there was extension on this money or do we have this money in the bank right this second and do we have to spend it by that? Mr. Murmur, or can we Mr. just Bond? do a contract? Yeah, what you need to do is you need to have a contract in place uh, prior to that June 3rd date. The, the state will not allocate the money until it, you've, you've encumbered it. Uh, you're not going to get, in other words, it's not in the bank account of the, uh, of the city. So you have to take action in order to have that contract uh, signed and, and ready to go. The, uh, and I would caution you on seeking an extension because given the finances of the state, uh, you know, there's th those monies will be allocated elsewhere possibly. So you should not uh, lose that opportunity, whatever you end up doing. Let me see if anybody else is taking recognition. Alderman Winger. I will not send the money back and we need to use it for something purposeful and what it was intended to do and to do the lighting on the bridge on Irving Park Road is the right thing to do. Let's get this done and let's not save the $300 of light. Let's get nice lights there and do the project right. So I do support the motion as long as it does support the uh, nicer quality light fixtures. It, was that in your motion, uh, Alderman Ray Wesley? I'll go with John. <laughs> I'd, li I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to believe it was implied because that's okay. what my second meant. That's fine. Okay, thank you. I think staff has that direction. Anything further? Alderman Wesley. Can I just ask one question to Strand? Do you feel you're going to have a contract signed by the time this time, the time? Yeah, I mean, you have correct. a contract. From an engineering standpoint, that's not very challenging. It's not a, a difficult job to put together. It is the DOT review of the lighting and getting their approval. Okay. Um, them being a state agency uh, and knowing that funding's on the line, maybe that helps. But it is, I mean, that's two months. It is tight. I'll be honest, it is tight. So more or less, you don't, you can't guarantee me tonight that we're going to have that contract. I, I cannot. So where where we go there? I think we want to go forward. I the agree project. going forward, but this is the best solution to try to save the money. No problem. Anything further, Alderman Wesley? I have a question for the uh, L. We're talking about lighting here, but where does it come in about the structure of the bridge? The the question came in, actually, I, I think it uh, was uh, the wording of the uh, grant. We were advised that someone had indicated that uh, the grant wording was for re, uh, maintenance of bridges um, on Salt Creek, and it wasn't specific. Um, that had nothing to do with uh, the inspection. Mr. Kramer and I were out looking at some uh, things, and we stopped over at that bridge on Elizabeth Drive, um, took a look at the underbelly of the deck and uh, found the repair or that would be needed. And that's, that's just why, how it came up. All right, because. Okay. Anything further? Roll call. Alderman Chiraki? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Bowles? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Police? Yes. That passes? I conclude your report. Um, Mayor, that, that does in my report. Finance and Administration, Alderman Winger. 
I make a motion to approve to direct the city attorney to draft the appropriate ordinances to update the city code chapter 7 article 3 section 7.308 D. gentlemen gentlemen Alderman uh, Winger sure continuing the uh, motion to state after 7.308 D increasing the amount of the senior discount from five dollars to ten dollars is there a second second on the question Alderman Cadella. Uh, some clarification for the audience, anybody watching, is this all seniors or is this seniors that follow into a certain income category? It, it's a certain income category, is that was my understanding during the discussion. Uh, does anyone? Mr. Wilson? Not. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, yes, uh, Chairman Winger is correct that uh, the it's the intention that I took out of the meeting was the senior discount program that we currently have on the books for $5, which does set forth certain income thresholds. This was only to apply to that specific uh, group as well. Alderman Wesley. What is that income? Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Uh, I believe for a single family, uh, for a one person household, excuse me, uh, it's just slightly north of 29,000 per year. And for a two person or more household, it's uh, just north of $32,000 per year. Right, Alderman Wesley. Uh, Brad, when, uh, how, how do you come up with these dollars? Uh, did these change at all? When was the last time it was changed the income? Mr. Wilson. Uh, I believe the last time we changed it was in 2007. Uh, we use the very low income standards as set forth by HUD, and so. Is, is, is there, is there any intent to look at that to raise that? We can certainly look into that uh, if you so wish. The last time I looked, uh, which was when we brought it to you, uh, this topic uh, was a, about a year ago. The, that number had actually gone down a little bit. Um, and so it would have been preclusive because some of the residents would have then not been able to qualify because the income threshold was down to, I think, around 27.5. So people in the 28,000 bracket would no longer have qualified for that program. And we didn't feel it was fair to kick the seniors in that income bracket out at the time. So we left it where it was. I, I just think that this has to go with the, the inflation and everything else. So that's what I'm looking at. So. Alderman Cadella. Brad, what's your staff going to do to verify these incomes? Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Uh, when they come in, uh, we have a form that they fill out, and they either have to uh, provide us, uh, obviously, with certain information deducted from it, uh, a W-2, uh, the tax form, a statement from Social Security Administration. So they, typically we get, uh, excuse me, a W-2, a 1040 um, from the prior year for their taxes so that we can verify what their income level that they reported to the federal government was. Can I follow up? I'm sorry. If people can lie to the federal government, they can lie to us. I can't support this unless it's all seniors across the board. Anything further? Roll call. Alderman Chaffee? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Cadella? No. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yeah. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Police? Yes. That passes? That concludes my report. I do not have anything under other business. Approval of bills, Alderman Winger. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to approve a list of bills dated April 7, 2011 for $633,594.77. Is there a second? Second. On the question? Roll call. Alderman Chalky? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? No. Alderman Police? Yes. That passes. Uh, we do not need an executive session. There are no items to be referred under items for information only. Again, remind everybody the pancake breakfast Sunday at Holy Ghost or Boy Scout Troop 65 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. May I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries.